this is all blocked off. Yes, and I suspect that the same is true up here, which means you actually have to, to thread the needle. Yep, you have to thread the needle. <laughs> you have to laugh, because otherwise you cry. At least this cave is nice enough to give you some relaxing meditation levels in between all the stress, says Joshua. This level, modulo 10, is zero. This should be a meditation level, but it's not. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm complaining or not, because I'm sure if they had made a meditation version of this level, they would have made it even worse. <laughs> but, and this sounds like a maniac thing to say, in the grand scheme of things, the meditation levels weren't that bad. Like, the levels I remember more strongly as, and more, uh, the, the levels that give me more agita are, have, have all been, uh, the non-meditation levels. So... Uh, even though the meditation levels are, uh, hellacious, they're actually not as hellacious as everything else about this game. Not there again, not there again, that's the worst place! I'm gonna do something clearly psychotic. And magically make it move up using the power of magnetism that I don't have. <laughs> you know what? Uh, even though y'all won't be able to hear it because copyright reasons, I am gonna go ahead and put on some music for- just for me. <laughs> just for me. Okay, step one of testing a new theory after 45 minutes of getting here. Huh, that just blew up after one. Okay. So yes, you can get over there with one seed, I think. Which means, well, it doesn't mean, but it suggests loudly that, um, I can use two other seeds in the bouncy bouncy funhouse room which means i can use the push pin in the bouncy bouncy funhouse room cuz i can use the seeds to get over the water so that's my plan seeds to get over the water push pin to get to save myself in the bouncy bouncy funhouse room I'm- I'm thinking of the arrangement of my, uh, hot bar. Yeah, exactly, Speclad. <laughs> Gotta switch items fast! I genuinely don't think I need detonatores anymore. <sighs> oh no. Oh no, I don't like this, I don't like this. Oh no, I'm gonna go this far and then lose because I can't switch items fast enough. No, no, no! <sighs> I tried to switch items mid-air to be clever, and it didn't let me. No, 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 no! Ah! I just panicked. <laughs> I was blind to panic. What? They go there? Oh, that changes everything! They grow, they're not, they don't block you when they grow. They grow as the ground, not in the ground. Okay, no blind panic. Sighted panic with vision. <laughs> Sighted panic with 2020 vision. <laughs> God, 
I, I revile this part. I revile this part. It takes so damned long, and there's no thought, or and it's just like torture. There's This part is, it's not fun. It's not clever. It's just miserable. <laughs> Now, I sincerely believe that I do not need any more detonatores, and that having the detonatores in my inventory is causing me strife, not joy. Am I genuinely con contemplating getting rid of the detonatores? <laughs> you sure about that? Says Joshua in chat. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm getting rid of the detonatores. I shouldn't need this key anymore. I'm setting it down. I shouldn't need the shovel anymore. I'm setting it down. I'm attempting to set it down. I'm failing to set it down. I cannot set it down. Oh my god. I shouldn't need the hammer anymore. Uh, yes, I shouldn't need- well, I might need the hammer again, but I shouldn't need it certainly in the short term. I'm setting it down. I shouldn't need this anymore. I'm setting it down. I don't need a spare life. I'm setting it down. <laughs> now I go get the spring, and look at how little I have in my inventory. That's got to be a good thing, right? <laughs> I have I have almost no material possessions. That's the goal of this game, to teach you to have no material possessions. <laughs> and now with that seed used, I have one fewer material possession, which means look at how little I have to go through if I screw up. I wonder if the intent is that you actually do this without the pushpin first, because this would be easier without the pushpin. No, it didn't set the seed! Why didn't it set the seed? I tried so hard to set the seed while I died! I don't need the pushpin. I'm throwing it on the ground. I'm setting it midair. I'm doing it that way. That's the only way that works. That's what I'm doing. God, the timing on this... The timing on this fucking sucks. The timing on this... I hate it. I hate it so much. I have to jump and then while I'm over the water, switch to the other item. Wait, you can't switch mid-jump. You do need to create a platform in front of the water. You actually, it's mandatory. You have to. Yeah. Okay. I was, yeah, Speclad's been telling me the right thing to do all along, but uh, <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm paying attention. Okay, that looks like a pretty good position. Don't freeze up. Okay, that was a major mistake, but look at that. I solved it anyway. More momentum, please. More momentum, please. Um, what? Okay, that, that did work. I was afraid. <laughs> Now, two more seeds to set up the other one, and then I can push pin my way through here. That is so nerve wracking. It's a good thing the seeds take for frickin' ever. Okay, 
Now this path is clear for the push pin. Now I go back with the push pin, and then I've solved this level. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I definitely still have to fight the gravity, but not much. Why, 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 why can't... Oh, because, of course, of course, on top of everything, there are... <sighs> they're invisible blocks. They're invisible blocks. Of course they're invisible blocks. Why wouldn't there be invisible blocks? On top of everything, there are freaking invisible blocks! So, this is all blocked off. Yes, and I suspect that the same is true up here, which means you actually have to, to thread the needle. Yep, you have to thread the needle! <laughs> you have to laugh, because otherwise you cry! So, last time, I sort of anticipated getting pulled faster than I was, and so I, uh, uh, tried to escape, uh, or I tried to change my direction way too late. So this time, the goal is don't do that. I'm gonna set this to hammer, just in case you're right, because that's the kind of thing they would do. Oh! 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 In time in a stable, I'm in, or I'm in an unstable equilibrium. I never anticipated this unstable equilibrium there. It's not a soft lock, it's an actual unstable equilibrium, although I just had to move. Square at the top left. Triangle, middle. Triangle there, that's lucky. Circle there. That's square. I cannot watch chat. I am paying too much attention. It is too intense. Stop freezing! <laughs> I feel no satisfaction. I feel no joy. I feel... I feel nothing. I just feel empty inside. <laughs> what does that mean? Secret code for printing? What? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna write down my secret code for printing. 54053072. Uh, 54053072. For printing, whatever that means. No printers available! Can I, can I just save? Can I save as a postscript or something? Yeah, normal device independent postscript. Okay, if I can find a way to get this postscript file off of here, then I can still have it. Uh, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, thanks for getting rid of that screen so fast. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I, I'm literally, like, I'm just sitting here contemplating life. I'm just, like, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm actually lost in thought. <laughs> oh, you can just, that's just, you can, I can get any diploma I want to that way. The player is Yaw Weasel, hereby officially granted victory. <laughs> I didn't notice that the first time, Rap. <laughs> the player is Yaw Weasel, hereby officially granted victory. Boston. Nowhere near where I am, that's like a 10-hour drive. 
<laughs> June 14th, 1995. <laughs> oh, the, the clock is, is screwy. It, like, it does think that it's June 14th, 1995, because you can't, like, it, it, nothing works if you tell it it's 2023. But I have no idea why it thinks I'm in Boston. Like, if, if it had asked me for a time zone, I would have said Toronto. That's usually one of the time zone options. It's also not where I am, but kind of closer. <sighs> the player is Yaweasel, hereby officially granted victory. Uh, thoughts on Oxid as a whole, pros, cons, best features, or... I do usually talk about the game I just played after playing it, don't I? <laughs> I was so just stunned by having beaten that level that I didn't even think to uh uh think to talk about it. I do I genuinely do have a love-hate relationship with Oxid. It is really, really clever. And it's not that it's implemented badly. It's that I don't I so it is a torture device. It is, like, it is torturously difficult. And that, it so feels like that's the point. T, disgusting, Kyle. <laughs> uh, it so feels like that's the point. Like, it's supposed to uh, be a torture device that, in a way, it's hard to fault it. Like, I have a very different attitude when I play I Want to Be the Guy or something like that than when it's, like, a game that was clearly supposed to be, like, a fun romp and then it's just sort of badly implemented. This game, I think, okay, here, let me, let me, I, I, here, let me crystallize this thought. There is a game similar to Oxid that is merely Oxid but not designed to be a horrendous torture device that game I would absolutely love. I would love that game. It has the clever puzzles, but it doesn't, like, in the situations where, uh, uh, Oxid just takes it, like, ten steps too far, it just doesn't take it those ten steps too far. <laughs> uh, that game I would love, but Oxid isn't even trying to be that game. Oxid doesn't even want to be that game. It's not pretending to be that game. It doesn't want to be that game. It's it's just not that game. No, but that's the thing, Kyle. It's not that it doesn't implement it well. It implements it really well, but it is intentionally horrible. Like it is it is it is so clearly trying to be a like miserable, painful torture device that I can't really fault it for being a miserable, painful torture device. It is exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> exactly, Joshua. It, it's gloves that, uh, they, they call themselves warming gloves, but then they say immediately under warming gloves, these will cause third degree burns. And then I'm going, but I really, you know, there's, like, warming gloves are maybe a good idea. These are third-degree burn gloves. They, so, I can't fault them. They do, like, they say right on the package and right on the gloves, these will cause third-degree burns. So, I don't know what the hell I was expecting. But, uh, I sure would like the warming gloves instead of the third-degree burn gloves. That's just not what these are. <laughs> but again, again, uh, like, I can, I can smell the good game in there. There's a good game in this. And it's just that, like, I, man, I wish I had that game. I wish I had that game. Why don't I have that game? <laughs> the player is Yaweasel, hereby officially granted victory. Boston, 6-14, 1995. <laughs> I just, like, the English was fine. There was nothing wrong with the English. And then suddenly, the player is your weasel hereby officially granted victory. The ink, there was no English pro. I mean, there was a problem getting into English many times, but there was no problem with the actual English once you were there. And then suddenly, the player is your weasel. Maybe you're supposed to read it as 
Y'all weasel, the player is hereby officially granted victory. Uh, that's, uh, that's, like, at least that's grammatical, but it's still shit. <laughs> Urkunde, dem Spieler, Johann Wiesel, wird hiermit fierlich der Sieg bestätigt. Neckargemund den Date. Which it interestingly, I guess not too interestingly, put in uh, European date order. 